All right, guys, here it is. Let's start with the outside. Right up in the front here is where your propane tanks are. You flip this up, you got two full propane tanks here. And all you gotta do is flip one on and take this selector here so that it knows this one is selected. I keep them turned off so that there isn't propane running and uh, you know, just in the event that there was a gas leak or something. Uh, this is a brand new, just bought in June, 2017 Zinger. Uh, the slide is already out. I've got everything hooked up here. The only thing I don't hook up, because it's a matter of preference, is the sewer. Um, there is a deal on the inside. I've, I keep the sewer hose in the bumper and the sewer cap and all of the accessories. Uh, they're all hooked up, but they would typically go right here. As you can see, I have also left the keys in there. There are some gloves and uh, the nozzles to hook on. As you might already know, uh, you open up the black tank first. Once this is all connected to that, and once the black tank empties, open up that gray tank, let that flush through, and the gray tank will clean out the black tank. Uh, black tank is um, poop water, basically. The rest is like sink water, the gray tank. So this is the clean water coming in. As you can see, I have it hooked up already. It's already on, and there is a water filter on there, so that water is good to drink. Not to mention, you got good Missouri water here. Uh, coming around here, I already put the awning up for you guys. Uh, there's an outdoor kitchen here. This opens here, and there is a pin. You would pull out the tray, and there's a pin right about here that you will pin in so that it stays there. And I keep the mini fridge unhooked. Uh, there's also a quick connect that you can hook the range that will pull out there to from that to that right there. And you can tell which quick connect sides do that. There is an outdoor shower. I know you got a bunch of kids with you. So here is uh, the pool playground. Uh, you got a clean up shower here just in case you want kids to rinse off if they're full of dirt or sand or chlorine. Uh, however you look at that. Uh, buck, in the front compartment here, you can see I've got propane for the mini grill. Uh, you do have another grill there that you can buy charcoal with and uh, cook s'mores on. We do have some skewers on the inside. On the other side here, which you could open, I have it locked right now. But on this side, there are some folding chairs. I think we got four in there that you guys can use. And that should be able to cover the outside. Uh, okay, on the inside... Um, I always leave the sheets here so that you can see everything is cleaned. Um, there is a VCR over here and a little TV here. That VCR is already hooked up. You just have to take the TV remote over there and select input one. Same thing works for the kids room. Uh, th these lights in here, you turn on and off manually. And there's another one over the bed, closet on each side. Uh, we've got a big screen TV in here. It will connect to Wi-Fi and Netflix and all that good stuff if you guys so choose. Little entertainment center. It uh, has two speakers inside, two speakers on the outside. This here is a remote to open and close the awning, turn on the lights outside. So if you're sitting out there, you can control that. We don't really use much of that. That bed folds, uh, your couch folds into a bed like a futon. That table drops and that also folds into a bed. And then you've uh, got one, two, three, four bunks here. Uh, clean the sheets on these, already put them on. It's hard to get them neat, but kids never keep neat anyways, right? Uh, there's the other VCR and TV, it's all hooked up. Uh, um, the remote for that is right here. So I might as well just put that back here. And that VCR is good to go. Same thing, switch the input to input one. Um, I did hook up cable. This site has cable hookup. So um, if you switch to the cable on the input selector of the remote, um, it will get you there. This is a thermostat. Right now I've got it set uh, about 72. Set it wherever you want. Um, there is a toilet, which I always say it, it smells better if you can keep some water in it. That's why I don't uh, empty the tank. It makes it smell. So uh, keep some water in it. Um, if there is any sense, it just builds up underneath. And if you're familiar with RVs, 
uh, throw a clean tab in there. Uh, should have some in there and some extra toilet paper. Uh, the shower is good to go. Um, we do have some toiletries. I don't know what we have in here. We got some more toilet paper. Got Nixol that'll that's wound care. Um, Aquacam. We have Aquacam too. So uh, we also have some here. All your towels and everything are going to be here. Uh, we got some cups, some coffee cups, some regular cups. There's some shampoo and soap and stuff like that. I'll go ahead and put the soap in here. Uh, we always hang a towel for hands there. I already put it up for you guys. Um, uh, over here, uh, the stove right now isn't going to work because um, there is no gas hooked up. But typically you would turn on the gas to light and then you would twist that. And I do have a gas on, never mind. Um, so either that or there's some left in the tank there. So uh, that's good to go. Same thing with the oven. It's uh, it'll flip on in there. I've already got the, the fridge on and the freezer on. Uh, auto, so it's running off power right now. Microwave. Uh, your sink. Uh, there is a water pump over here. I don't use it when water is hooked up. I already have your water heater hooked up, so you should have hot water by the time you get here. And in here we have all kinds of stuff. So we've got plastic forks. We don't keep regular plates in here. Um, hot pads, wine, beer opener. Uh, there is uh, lighters and all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, cleaning supplies and pots and pans. Uh, got stuff for the dog. Uh, oven pans, cutting board. All that stuff is in there. Uh, we got a couple things up here too. So there are some paper plates left. Uh, a lot of uh, storage containers, coffee pots ready to roll. And um, I think that covers it. There's some tools here if you need them. Um, we got some fly swatters, and then I keep the garbage can over here, right off the side door. I already put a liner in it for you guys, and you are ready to roll. Um, as for this, uh, lights ones turns on and off the inside lights, light two turns on and off the outside lights. So I'm gonna leave those on. This is the center that's gonna show that you're full battery because you're connected to power. Your fresh tank is already has some water in it, but we're running off sewer. Uh, your black tank, for some reason, it always shows two thirds, uh, but it is empty. Uh, gray tank's empty and the other tank is empty. So uh, we don't have an aux on there. If you wanna put the, the slide out, um, which I doubt you'll do, you would do that, but you might wanna do the awning. So if you wanna put the awning in, it's all automatic. Um, however you guys like to do that. Last thing, but not least, is this door. You can push this down and that will just allow your screen door to open, which this will open and close it then. And uh, up here is your main lock. This is a deadbolt, as you can see here. Um, the keys, which I left in the front, have an orange key on it. The only thing the orange key unlocks is this one. No one can figure out why. But I have an orange key just for that one. The gray one unlocks all of the other compartments throughout the entire trailer. And that should cover it. Uh, you guys call me at 417-569-7766 if you need anything. Enjoy.